Joining me now to break it all down is counterterrorism and foreign policy expert Lisa Daftari is back and former Trump campaign foreign Trump. policy advisor and author of The Choice. Okay. Waleed Ferris joins us as well. Wally, I'll start with you. So what do you make of this? Something bigger, you think? And what does that mean? And will anything happen as long as BB is in place? Well, as you said, actually, it's the bigger one, the bigger dimension. It has always been since uh, the beginning of this administration. There were pressures on the Netanyahu government, on Israel, not to engage in any action. It's not just Gaza that would unnerve the Iranian regime. That's the bottom line. And Hamas is an ally of the Iran regime. Why? Because this administration is engaged in negotiations to the return for the return to the Iran deal and sending those billions of dollars. If there is anybody, any entity that needs to be reminded that we're not doing our job, you know, in terms of strategic level, it's us. It's, it's Washington. We are we have been attacked in Iraq, in Syria, and now we are being attacked in Yemen and the Red Sea. And look at the reaction of the administration. Do not do not engage with the Iran regime. So now we're lecturing the Israelis do not engage with Hamas. Uh, what would they do then? They just stop and then look at Hamas growing back into a super force. No. Lisa. They push for a two-state solution. Up, clearly, probably not going to happen in our lifetimes. But tell us, what, you know, has has the Biden administration painted themselves into a corner? No matter where they go from here, they're going to tick off one side or the other because they're trying to play both against the middle. Middle. Right. It's an interesting point because neither side is, is fully satisfied with the Biden administration's reaction because they are flip-flopping and pandering to so many different entities. The main one, as well, he'd mentioned, is Iran's regime. Um, I said this in the first hours of this war, and I'll say it again. You know, Israel doesn't have global support on a good day, let alone right now when it is retaliating against a major terror organization, again, pulled by Iran, uh, Iran's regime's backing. So this, the, the ceasefire, the control, the speed, the length, the, 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 uh, the severity of the retaliation will be in Israel's control. When the administration talks about a two-state solution right now, when they cannot or have not been able to get the hostages back. There has, we're not even close to decimating Hamas, which is the goal of, of the IDF. How can we talk about a two-state solution when the other side is run by a terror organization that does not want to see not just one Israeli alive, they don't want to see one Jew alive across the world, and we're seeing that in the anti-Semitic attacks globally. I got, I got 30 seconds to each, Wally. Let me ask you, where is Egypt? Where is Jordan? Why don't they take over Gaza and after an elimination of Hamas? That is exactly what I suggest in the first weeks of the conflict, that Egypt has an interest, Saudi Arabia has an interest, Jordan as well has an interest. But guess what? For many years, both this administration and the Obama administration Obama. has been pressuring these governments not to do anything that would unnerve the Muslim Brotherhood. So now we understand why this action is not taking place at this point in time. And what do you think, Lisa? 30 seconds. Yeah, you know, it's it, it's unbelievable. I think the main question here about the day after is not about who's going to control Gaza, but who's going to control the White House policy regarding Iran's regime, regarding the Muslim Brotherhood, regarding the future of the Abraham Accords. And we saw the best policy ever enacted uh, on the Middle East and a future for all moderate Arab states and Israel to live side by side. If you want them to live side by side, that's the way forward. Not this wishy-washing is coming from the White House right yeah, now. Get, get, get rid of Hamas. Make you know, The Gaza Strip is amazing, beautiful real estate. Yeah. Let Egypt yeah. take it. Let, 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 let uh, Jordan deal with, Jordan with that deal mess. With- I got to leave it right there. You, both of you folks, thank you so much.